Hey everyone, Trevor here from Option Key Webcast. Uh, we're going to go over how to virtualize a physical system into a vir virtual one, or P to V. Uh, we're going to use something called Disk to VHD, which is produced by SysInternals. Uh, it's available on Microsoft's uh, website. Uh, I've already taken the liberty and already downloaded uh, the system. Um, I also use a program called Macrium Reflect to make backups and convert uh, physical systems to virtual uh, disks. Uh, but we're going to use this one. It's easy to use and it works really, really well. Uh, so I've already downloaded it. I'm going to launch it. So I have here uh, where it's going to save it. I'm going to save it as a VHDX. I'm going to save it onto a D drive that I have hooked up. I don't want drive D. I want this uh, volume label because this is uh, Windows 7. Uh, so this has all the boot information, some system files that we need, and the C drive. I'm just going to save it to D. Uh, you launch the software. You tell it to create. It'll snapshot the volumes. And away it goes. As you can see, uh, the disk to VHD uh, is progressing nicely. Uh, one thing you'll want to keep in mind, if you're using server 2012 or earlier, or 20, 2008 R2 and earlier, uh, you'll want to use VHD, VHDX is the new Microsoft Hyper-V uh, disk format standard uh, and if you go with the VHDX you won't be able to run it on older hypervisors so uh, very important to note that. So our uh, disk conversion has been completed and you can see here our VDA VHDX file on the disk. And that is all there is to it. 